Hello, my name is Susie Vanderlip, and I am a local monarch butterfly expert. I'm actually the monarch conservation specialist in Southern California for Monarch Watch. I also raise monarch butterflies and I release them and I lecture on them. Now, some of you may know me by my book, The Story of Chester, the Monarch Caterpillar Larva, all about monarch butterfly life cycle, which is what we're here to talk about today. As we need to understand their life cycle, because what you may not know, monarch butterflies are in a huge decline. They're almost close to extinction level in our beautiful California. So here's what we're going to look at. Monarch butterflies start as a little tiny egg the size of a head of a pin that a monarch butterfly female lays on the host plant. The host plant, that's milkweed. It's the host plant because it means it's the only plant caterpillars or larvae will eat. Now they will live as an egg for two to four days and hatch. Then they will become a teeny tiny monarch caterpillar, the size of a piece of rice. They will live as a caterpillar for two weeks, eating 32 leaves, growing 2,500 times larger in two weeks. If a human baby grew 2,500 times larger in two weeks from birth, it would be as large as a whale. They eat ravenously. They're very pretty, yellow and white and black banded. Then they will crawl off the milkweed plant to go make their chrysalis. Now, moths spin cocoons, but butterflies make a chrysalis. Interesting distinction. They will crawl off the plant because if you make your chrysalis on a leaf on a milkweed plant, well, some caterpillar might come along and eat it out from under you. So nature has made them smart enough to go off and find a safe place to make their chrysalis. It's usually under leaves. Sometimes it will be under tables or under eaves. They hide themselves under things. And they will be in this chrysalis going through metamorphosis for another two weeks. It'll be a little hard, beautiful shell. And you'll see here in these pictures, these are chrysalises in my habitats where I am raising monarch butterflies inside my house right now. So in two weeks, they will be ready to emerge. Technically, that's called eclose. And they will come out as a magnificent, beautiful monarch butterfly. Now, when they go to make that chrysalis and they crawl off, they will spin a little silk from a gland and attach themselves, the back end, and hang in what we call a J for about two days. Then something quite fascinating happened. They droop, their head splits open, and they will wiggle right out of their skin. And on the inside is the chrysalis. If you raise any of these in your habitats, you can sometimes catch this happening and it's stunning. It's like watching an alien be born. They will then, of course, make that chrysalis safe and sound inside for two weeks. They have a beautiful little gold rim around them. They look like a jewel. People have asked, what's that for? Do you know what? Scientists don't really know. Now the day a monarch butterfly is going to eclose or be born, it's chrysalis thin so it can crack out. It gets so thin you actually see the monarch butterfly on the inside. That beautiful green chrysalis now looks black and orange. You're seeing the wings. When that butterfly emerges, its wings are curled and scrunched and wet. Had to fit in there somehow. Over the next 10 minutes, right after birth, you will see its little wings extend as it pumps the merconium or butterfly blood into the veins of the wings and they extend and it hangs upside down for a whole two hours until its wings harden and it learns how to begin to open and close and open and close and if it's a nice sunny day, flit off. Now let's look at the milkweed. You can help monarch butterflies by planting milkweed. And here is what we call tropical milkweed. You can find it Lowe's, Home Depot, Armstrong Garden Centers, a variety of places. It can have all yellow flowers, can it have orange flowers, yellow and orange flowers, but it has a nice full leaf. And they love this plant. Or you can also buy native narrow leaf milkweed. Get that at more independent nurseries. They love this as well. The difference is native milkweed at the end of October, beginning of November, it dies down to the ground. It's through. It will come back next March, early April. But tropical, which came from South America, Central America, it doesn't die down. It keeps leafing out. 
And so we have to help monarchs another way. If we're going to plant tropical, we have to know that at Halloween, by October 31st, we have to prune it like a rose bush. We actually have to go strip the leaves off and prune it to 8 to 10 inch stems with no leaves. That kills off a parasite microscopic called OE. And if it's left to accumulate on tropical milkweed that is not trimmed every year, it will end up creating handicapped butterflies that die in two days when they're born, or it will kill them in the chrysalis altogether. So let's be very responsible about how we help them. Go ahead and buy your tropical or buy your native, but if you buy tropical by October 31st, we prune it. Here is a full milkweed plant full of leaves. And this is what it looks like after they eat it up. All the leaves are gone and it sticks. And they can do that in May or June or July or August, but that plant will grow back for you to feed more monarch caterpillars through the season. One last thing that you might find fun and interesting. How do you tell a male from a female? <laughs> this is fun to know. And this is a male. This is a female. The difference is when they open their wings, you will see on the male two black dots on the wing near the third, bottom third of the body. Two black dots. You can only tell if it's male or female when it opens the wings. So go out there, plant some milkweed, add nectar plants. You know, monarch butterflies also drink nectar out of a whole variety of plants. If you go to my blog, you'll find a whole list of nectar plants that you can buy at the nurseries. It's www.banderlip.com slash blog and go to the butterfly blog. With that, I hope you will go out and buy some milkweed. The season is April through October. It's just so heartwarming to have a newborn monarch butterfly. It might even hang from your finger, might fly and sit on your head. It's a wonderful thing to experience no matter what age you are. And together, let's all celebrate Earth Day, saving monarch butterflies, and saving our beautiful planet. Thank you.